Okay, so I'm with Stuart Smith. Hi, Stuart. Nice to meet you. Um, and you're from uh, NatWest, yes. and we, we, we're just in the middle of a, a link for coffee, actually, at Regis, which has been temporarily relocated to the Holiday Inn. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about uh, about what you're doing at NatWest, because we've spoken before, and, and you're kind of doing a, a role which is a community based role. Now I've talked to a lot of banks over the last I don't know, it must be two or three years about about how they're changing and uh, and they've all come up with an idea of doing something to do with the community yeah. but in my experience that hasn't it's not I, I don't I don't see that being if you like carried through to completion what tell me a little bit about your involvement with with that because you've been there for a while now yeah total 14 years with now right. I've been working in uh, the retail sector uh, for a good portion of that and also recently business banking for the last eight years um, came from a, a background in St Albans that's where my previous location was moved to Watford in, in August yeah. uh, to start a new role that the bank launched uh, earlier this year which was called a business gross enabler right. so we're at enablers pretty much they're out there in the local marketplace working with smaller businesses, larger organisations, the key thing for our role and where, where we find that it's fairly niche is that we're out there pretty much full time, um, so we're not office bound, we're not desk bound, but we want to be able to allow businesses to build their own current ecosystems, right. so um, introducing clients with other clients. So it's just sort of mixing people in. Right. Um, not there to sell any products or services. Okay. It's completely different to what a lot of the bank's agendas are out there. Yeah. It's to try and educate business owners as well regarding various different topics, such as cybercrime, such as um, taxation, knowing a little bit about their marketplace. Um, and that the role that I have gives me that sort of capacity to get out there and meet people. So is it, is it primarily then, I mean, it's a, non, a non-profit driven role, which is community focused in that your remit really is to go out there and build relationships in the community. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly people by people. So yeah. it's knowing your, your network. So these Link for Coffee growth mornings that I'm visiting here at the moment, speaking to other business owners, yeah. it's knowing a little bit about what their service is all about and to try and help the local economy by boosting. So networking with somebody may mean that I might meet someone next week that may need their services. So trying to interlink them in is, is a key way of building um, uh, your, your sort of client base and people that you know. Right. With the hope, obviously, that people then look at my services that we provide here at NatWest. Now, all banks provide the same sort of services. It's it's the people that sort of head those services up. Yeah, I mean, my, my key to this is, you talk about attraction marketing here. So you're basically saying, here I am being useful and helpful. Yes. And, you know, if you think that's a good thing, then when you need something, yeah, take a look at you know, <laughs> my store, in effect. Yeah. So... One of the things I'd really want to do is kind of encourage you to help us with some... Th- you've obviously got years and years of experience in banking. There's a lot of people out there starting up a new business have no idea what they're doing, really. And they are looking to somebody who's got years of experience to help them. And some of that can be done by physically meeting you, you know, events, as, as you know. Uh, but also, it'd be really handy if you could sort of write stuff that's fairly generic, or if you've got access to it, that can basically... People can read because one thing's networking, another thing's doing videos like the one we're doing, another one is for people to just take that knowledge. A lot of people want to read stuff. They're not, yeah. They want to be sold to. They don't want to be, I know you're not selling, but they, they, they want to basically read stuff at their leisure and then they can say, actually, this, this person's said some really interesting things. they clearly got the knowledge that I need to tap into and then go find you. Yeah. Is that something that, we could do? Yeah, that, absolutely. And I've got the you know, LinkedIn page. We've got our also, also our own Twitter page. And we, we publicise useful information that we've feel that businesses find extremely useful such as taxation and things like that so have a look on our LinkedIn page my LinkedIn page yeah. have a look on my own personal Twitter page 
and information that I can provide you, certainly we can we can communicate on that. On that sort okay, of yeah, absolutely. fabulous. All right, well, look, we're going to get back to the meeting, but really nice to meet you. And uh, let's see, I'll put this up on YouTube, so you'll be able to see it a bit later on. Okay. And then uh, we can we can share this around and let people know who you are. Okay. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks.